Hi right, guys, uh, welcome to Virtual Vibes. Today, Pierre, man, who do we have today? I think this is the first time we have two people. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I tell you, this is the first time we have someone with luxurious head of hair. Man, what is that? <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, man. It's just genetics, you know, just genetics. I, I, I am jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a question before we get into the intro, it's a question I've been longing to ask you. How do you keep it so shiny and bouncy? Like, what do you do? Do you have like a special routine? What's going on? <laughs> You, people might think that there's a special routine in work, but it's nothing. It's a simple, plain old shampoo, and that is it. You know what? Before we even go to the stories, man, you guys should introduce yourselves, right? All right, I'll start then. Okay. Uh, my name is Nabil. I'm the CEO of Big Immersive. I'm uh, Asad Shams. I'm the CC of Big Immersive. And it's t- Chief and, Creative uh, Officer. Yeah, everyone gets confused what that is. <laughs> it's the creative side of the CCO. And interestingly enough, me and Asad have been working since together since 2013. Oh wow! Our first jobs, our first jobs were in the same company. Oh, oh so different company from the oh. Big Immersive. But but after that, when we switched, we switched to a different company almost together. You know, like it was back to back, and that was the same company. Like we yeah. were same again. Yeah. And oh. then when we made the shift to Big Immersive, we were there as well. The second company you guys were together as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the third one as well. <laughs> That's also not open for a fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not in this podcast. <laughs> well, you know, Jay is with you right now, isn't he? He's over in Pakistan, right? Yeah, he so, is. You know. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's been lovely working with you. Um, <laughs> I think we should explain, though, right, that you guys are the sort of spearheading all the amazing content and assets and metaverse and everything, everything amazing about what we co- comes out uh, in terms of what we bring to market comes from your fair office. Yes, that is correct. We do the development, all the blockchain pieces, the art, and some of the production as well. All of that is done by Big Immersive. And the way we started was that we used to be a game studio, right? We used to make video games for AR, VR, mobile. And then, you know, one day it was like, Jay was here and he was like, guys, this is the next big thing. And we were like, you know, we've never heard of this. What is this? And and then we got into uh, the uh, blockchain aspect of it. NFTs, everything like that. And that was a very, very ex- uh, exciting journey for all of us. So that was a new journey as well. I mean, you had to learn lots in the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. Like it was a complete shift of what we used to do to what we're doing now. Mm-hmm. When you guys began though, when you guys started off in Big Immersive, what were you guys working as? All right. So I was working as a producer, as a game designer. Uh-huh. And, and I, I was a 3D artist. Oh wow! And also okay. hyper casual games like doing 2D stuff as well. And okay. Nabil came after three months uh, when I joined there. He came after me like I requested his email. Let's bring <laughs> Nabil now. <laughs> <laughs> let's be let's be honest. It was more like don't bring this guy in. You don't need <laughs> oh, so when you, when you say game designer, Nabil, you're like designing games in terms of how the game end to end yeah yeah, ah, yeah. Very nice. interesting flow what, what, what's supposed to happen the economy stuff like that oh fun stuff huh <laughs> yes hi 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 <laughs> thank you for the dances yeah, that's, the, <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's all the amazing production team right behind me <laughs> they're a bunch of goofballs <laughs> oh do you know pierre do you know have you met asad have you met him like physically yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is like. I've been sitting in this room for like two years now. You no, know, I thought when you were in Dubai, when you were in Dubai, have you have you guys cross paths? No, so yeah, he is tall. He's like the Shaquille of Neil of Lahore or something. How, how, <laughs> how tall are you, man? Six six? No, no, six two, man. <laughs> oh, that's <shot. laughs> you know, my perception. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, Pierre, no, no. You can't, man. You no, can't. Man, yeah. you, you can't break your own rules, dude. Come on. I, I was actually going to say something innocent. It's you lot that went down south so quickly. <laughs> so, listen, Big Immersive. Tell us about Big Immersive and, and how that sits and connects with the rest of Virtua. Okay, so basically what Big Immersive does, it, it handles the development 
in the art and the production as well. So whenever there's a new piece of technology that Virtua needs, like uh, like an upcoming land sale or like the cribs that we're working on that so that people can actually get to experience the metaverse, we're working on that. And whatever you see, like the art, the, the, the connectivity, your NFTs, everything that everything that that is handled by us. So even though you sit under a different company name, you're still very much part of the virtue uh, organization and and the very st- sitting completely within that. Yes, I, I would say so. I would say. So. I think the best way to think yeah. about it is like sister company technology arm of virtual. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're, we're the sole uh, technology partner. Yeah. We do not partner with anyone else. Virtua is our main thing. Yeah. It has our heart and soul into it. And we can see that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I love to ask people, even before we get into you know the cool stuff you do at work, is what do you guys do out of work, right? How does your day look like when you're not at work? So what does the one hour look like when you're not at work? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go first? <laughs> After office, it's just like, Go and sleep. Just come to <laughs> office again. <laughs> okay, That's but ritual Asad, though, is. I know, man. I, I, you know, we all in Instagram. I see you love your bikes, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Both of you, in fact, you guys are avid bikers, right? So, when you talk about that, is that like a new thing, or was it a, f- a thing that you've always done throughout your life? So, Nabil and me, when we were like working on different companies and doing different stuff, uh, we. We see that we had some something similar that is the interest in biking. Ah. So initially, we used to eyeball each other bikes, <laughs> and then after that, we knew we had a taste of that. Then we start touring together. We had a bunch of like uh, clubs that we were joined. Uh, we were oh wow! Together. Okay. There was a time then the wheel and I did a tour, and that was around 800 kilometers on a single ride. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah, one way, one way. One way, yeah. Oh yeah. wow. That was from Lahore to uh, the oh, northern no. areas a place called Naran Pagan and we made a trek that was supposed to be for jeeps and that is called uh, Lake Saiful Maluk. And we went up to the lake on the bikes on the bikes and that was not a tra- uh, a path for bikes it was for jeeps only like five, four by fours. and we were like going up and then sliding down because of all the loose sand and rocks i don't know how but we actually made that journey and we came back as well yeah well, it was pretty difficult but definitely we were young. Young. yeah we were young <laughs> <laughs> you know the um you know the difference between me and parvez right is that Uh, no I way. put some effort into this, right? He just he free wheels everywhere and everything. I actually did some <laughs> research before we come to these shows, right? And one of the little tidbits of information I had is is that specifically about you, Nabil, and your bike, and how you had a, a Suzuki in a Zuma. Is that right? Is that how you say yeah, it? Yeah, that Zuma? is right. Yeah. And you, yep. your your first bike or something, or your first your first love bike that you really loved, and you sold to a friend, and now whenever you see it driving past, you're just like this. Oh. <laughs> 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 that is true. That is true. And, and this and was your research, that. Pierre. Yeah, yeah. And this yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> that's my work done. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, interestingly enough, Azimi bought that bike off of me. What? And yeah, yeah, yeah. He that's did. The information he did. that he forgot, he omitted from the story. Wow. I'm going to take some clothes off here. <laughs> Wait. So, so he wow. has that bike has now. He, has he still? Yeah. Has he still got it? He he still has it. Oh my God, Pierre! He played you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it it it, it, it stays parked at his house Stop, for like right. months and months. So so whenever I like see that bike, I do all this like check it out to make sure it's all right and in working Sometimes condition. Sometimes we do the maintenance as well. Yeah, yeah. And I think that tell the story we did it didn't start for three months. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I even did the maintenance on that bike once, you know. So he never uses it, and it, it just so you actually went went ahead and. Uh, you so, do the maintenance. So what happened was, so what happened was, Azimi wasn't uh, riding his bike, and when we go got to go to his home, and he said, "Can you check my bike? It's not working." <laughs> and he it it hasn't started in like three or four months. Azimi has tried everything and his everything, power, everything. everything to start that bike, even got a new battery in it, and it wasn't starting. So Nabil and I went to went to his house and saw the bike, and we looked around and we saw it. Oh, it's in it's in first gear. We just used it and it just started driving up right away. For three months, man, it was in first gear. 
<laughs> wow, Pierre. Man, I wish we knew the story before. So we have some dirt on his yeah. knee as well. <laughs> Well, can you? I think you need to share it on this on this uh, this, this edition of Vibes because you know we didn't get a lot of dirt from him. We got yeah. some, <laughs> but not not everything. And he's and he, in the podcast. Anyway, don't he's worry, said, I've got more on you guys. I've got more. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Azim is dished out a lot. Looks like. Yeah. Well, so now what name, happens is where I got it from. But, yeah. Ah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so so now what happens is that Asad and I we just go for like leisurely bike rides. That is it. Although one yeah. thing is there, man, Azimi did tell me that out of all the people that I, I guess I suppose three of you, in terms of uh, riding a bike, Nabil, you are the most craziest. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he mentioned. The, he gets into accidents a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said you just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, didn't do anything. I, I used to, but now I think I like you know simmer down a bit. Is that after your marriage last year? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fell off some of your bikes since then. So, and, and there's another thing as well. I, I love restoring old bikes as well. I've had a couple of project bikes. I've uh, restored a Vespa with a friend of mine as well. I wish I had such skills. All time. What is the other stuff you have, Pierre? I, I, I'm so curious now. I will. We'll come on to it at the opportune moment. Let's let's mm. let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it needs to, it needs to flow organically. You know, it's not no, like I'm just going to flick up a picture of someone from years gone by and you know harass them. Because you know, because you haven't done that before, <laughs> have you? <No. laughs> yeah. Yes, he hasn't. He hasn't done that. You guys have some cool stuff to show us. Do you? Yeah, we do. We do. We do. Okay. So, w- amongst all the projects, be, be honest, man. Don't say you love everything, right? But mm-hmm. is there something amongst all the projects we're working on that you guys like really love? This is cool. This is my favorite stuff. Okay. For me personally, it would be the cribs. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes. Yes. And as and, a you, and gives, for me, it's it's the deflex. They have my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, reflex are like his baby. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Oh man, all so of the Cardano reflex look really cool, right? I've seen a lot of them. They look, they look very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you yeah, and, very good. And, and you recently you spent you sent the Space Bugs one, right, Nabil? Yes. And that yes, looks yes, really yes. nice as well. Yeah, we're, we're doing the Space Bugs reflex as well. We did the Dead Pixel reflex as well. Disco Solaris. Yeah. Disco Solaris as well. Those those, those partnership reflex they're like really really. Yeah. So yeah, we're yeah. we're still. Oh, Pierre, Pierre, those. I got the new Jets as well. I haven't sent it to you, so I should send it to you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can see him today. Can we yeah. see him uh, <laughs> on here? <laughs> oh, can we? Nabil, maybe we can just show it. Can we show it? The Jets? Uh, yeah. You want to see the Jets? Yeah, first? why not? Yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Let me just share. So they, live they approval happening. Out. Ladies and gentlemen, live approval. They should be out. Where, oh, there we go. Yeah. And now you can tell the scale from there with them as well. So the smaller one, this one is going to be for the small plots. This one is for the medium plots. Cardano oh, branded on there as well. Fantastic. Yes, we, wow. we redid the wow, wow, wow. we redid the textures as well. You have your Cardano branding over here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Man, That's Pierre, nice. Pierre, are you so, okay to give us a small narrative on what you're thinking on the stories? Because that's well, well, sexy as hell, yeah, man. I think we, I think we touched on it last week or the week before of. What we want to do here is, is so these these will be for the mint reward window. I think probably next week, I believe. Yeah. And what we want to do here is add some really cool, or seed some cool narrative. I think it's more that it's more for the community to take it on and do what they will with it. But I think what we want to do is add some add some spice to Cardano Island, right? So we've got one nine five squadron. And it's like, hey, there's some more jets coming, guys. What's going to happen next? And just and leave it like that and see where it goes, right? And then I think yeah. following week we've got some. I won't. I won't spoil it now, but we've got uh, some other. You season. should go, go ahead, man. You some other spoil- great stuff. You should spoil. Well, you should, you so. should spoil it. You should spoil it. Go ahead. You want me to spoil it? Yeah. Well, I think. Look, we've got some, some, uh, some terror on the high seas coming. See, and way. that's. I so think that's my some, favorite. I think that's my favorite. Yeah. So we're looking at some. Uh, some pirate ships that might cause some trouble in the marina. Who knows what's going to happen, right? I think this is the great thing is that we can come up with these wacky ideas. We drop them in, we drop them out there, 
and the community that you know they're so passionate and excited about all of this and i think where they take it next is it's really up to them but i think it's from our side it's really fun yeah. just sort of taking it and going guys off you go what are you gonna do next <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what are you gonna what, what are you gonna show us man a bit you're gonna show us something else and, and then yes and the next thing that i have it's a sneak peek okay. for the space bug we flight but before i do i just want to say it's not finalized yet But we have something that we can give us. Nice. Damn. Yeah. And so all cool. of these things that you see over here, they're, they're going to be like the traits. And the, the legendary or platinum one, it's going to have everything. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. And, and then I've got something interesting for the Monster Island as well. On oh, which I'm nice, trying. nice. First of all, this is the Monster Ezio. It's, um, wow. This, oh, dude. this bit over here. This is the the condo, condo tower, tower yeah. on Monster Island. Wow. Okay. And you can see it's got That like some cool stunning. floating platforms as well. This is actually going to look very similar. It'll have these things in 3D as well. Okay. Uh, what are the And ones in the bottom, man? Yeah. What are those things, dude? These are the monster cribs. Okay. Wow. These are the cribs. And this. Also, you want to tell us a bit so about this? Yeah, this is the large crib. So it's sick, we dude. A, nice. We have a new, new size plot uh, as well. Yeah. We're, we're, do, you, do you think we should? I don't know. Let that out, though. <laughs> the new size of plot we you, have. You should go for it, you know, because we have 50 million <laughs> minus 49 million 900,000 viewers. So it's fine. <laughs> it, I think it'll be safe. You should yeah. go for it. Yeah. It, it. It's the giga plot. Yeah. It's the... Biggest plot of land. So, are we looking at the biggest plot right so now? Uh, not exactly. Hmm. The Giga plot will be able to have its own combo tower, oh. along with its own set of cribs as well. Very nice. Yeah. So, so that and is. And I think massive. I'm right in saying that for the if you own a Giga plot and you get the tower, you can actually make revenue off that tower, right? So you can sell the condos in that tower on your Giga plot. I think Absolutely so. Yeah. Spot on. Are these yeah. are these dude? Uh, these are roads that go into the t condo and the, the yes. yeah yes. Yeah. These are roads. Okay. The, the, this is the road structure. Okay. We've kept it elevated so that you don't run into any monsters. Who's thinking was that? Yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> This guy over here. <laughs> nice, nice. I like that. So I'm really interested in the process here, right? Because there's, there's um, one of my old bosses used to say that all marketeers are sort of frustrated creatives, right? Which is so true. How, how do you get to that? How, how do you start? Is it someone just sitting there sketching with a pencil and yes. you're all? Oh, how, oh, how does it, how the I this? love that question, Pierre. Do we, do we have any sketches? Do we have? No, 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 not but, hands on. But, but I let us explain the entire so process. So what, what happens is initially we discuss what we want, and uh, when we come come to a single page, if everyone knows what we want, then there's a guy who do start doing the sketches, and from there it goes into the basic color point. Uh, after coloring, we need to do all of these uh, rendering that you see here in 2D. So everything that you see here in this image, it's hand painted in 2D with lots of iteration between them as well. So this final image you see, it has maybe like 20 or 25 iterations. So wow. in some folder. Yeah. And how long does that take to get from, from initial idea to this? So usually we try to do it in, in a week from the initial idea to this illustration. But sometimes it takes more, sometimes it takes less time. Depends on how much detail we want it how everyone feels about it. Uh, it, it. It mostly depends on the feedback. How, But a how, week, uh, and, and, and it's not final, right? So it, I guess it then needs to be rendered as well. Yes. Yes, then it needs to be and, rendered. And after that, once the uh, concept art and illustrations are finite, then it goes to the process of 3D. That's in a separate yeah. pipeline that we have. So that is a separate ideation, separate ideas, and adding volumes into this 2D image that we have. That is a very different process and very difficult one. How many people are involved in this? Asad, for the, is the sketching guy different? The the guy who puts the no, color no. in different, or the same person who does all this? So 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 each uh, concept artist has his own thing, his own art style. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I give a, a single guy to do a single concept art for me, so the art style doesn't deviate. Ah, so, 
that's why they, but i have multiple concept artists and illustration artists so we have it doesn't get like you okay and what do they what do they it's use fantastic. what what tools do they use so this is uh, this has been done in photoshop okay yeah all from sketch part to the final renderation that you see here all of it's in photoshop wow it's pretty fab fantastic man yeah and then we've got something else interesting to just show as well this one is for gbk the upcoming gbk legacy collection drop yeah and pierre's going to be very furious with me because i should have probably given these to him <laughs> much much earlier <laughs> uh, on vibes we're all friends but afterwards we can talk about it wow this oh, is look at that So this has been done in Unreal 5. Wow. Man, this is wow. So cool. So you see the model and the animation yeah. from the lighting to the terrain everything is uh, in house and everything is has been done here by the Looks by great team. man. Oof. Would something like this also go cool. through an illustration first? No. <laughs> Ultimately uh, we do have simple sketches of what our terrain needs to look like and what kind of lighting we're looking for sometimes it, we need an illustration sometimes we don't we just like we know what we want to make it in in 3D so it's it's a process that sometimes it's required and sometimes it's not and this is a stupid question maybe but is there like an illustrator and then going to a 3D artist or a 3D uh, the person right who does it is there a loss of translation that happens occasionally or is it like okay this is what i i'm envisioning and this is what the final output looks like that is where i come in ah so I you you marry them both okay yeah yeah got it so from but there are certain lost in translations that do happen somehow is it true hmm. that is where i get a beating from everyone <laughs> 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 I think we're so, all yeah. 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 yeah, and then this is another video for GBK. Man, this is sick, dude. Wow. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah, Pierre, you should, you should be upset, man. You should be upset in some way. This also in which I'm right now I'm just excited by it. Afterwards I'll be upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and this bit over here also in visions a a part of the monster island that we're thinking of as well. It's mm. a section of it, especially mm. the lava section. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because the monster zone has different uh, elements, and this is one of yes. them, right? Yes. 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 It has earth, wind, fire, and water. Water. So you're gonna think of the fire uh, or earth, maybe? I don't know. Wow. Fire. This, so one this one is, is the fire. The lava fire area. Environment is mostly based in. I, I was gonna say, Barbados volcano equals fire. I don't know, man, but that's... earth. A lo lot of earth as well, right? <laughs> I I'm not I'm not creative man. <laughs> yeah, not a fault man. Yeah. Yeah, we got well, that. Actually actually it's not earth. <laughs> it's virtual prime. Oh wow, what is this? And then this is another one as well. So this is the element that we have the wind one. So it's a rocky terrain no vegetation at all. These purple hues. And this is the war bat. Man, Pierre, look at this man. This is phenomenal. When when am I getting these then? <laughs> right after this call. <laughs> I think they've just kept it, you know, for themselves to show it during the pod. Yeah. Wow. Super Guys, cool. this is really cool, man. Yeah, can you show the the image of the of the the land plot because I saw it yesterday and it looks Oh, I think yes, you showed yes, it just yes, yesterday, didn't you? It looks stunning. But this is how the <clears throat> monster zone land plots are going to look like. Yeah, this is one of the sizes. <laughs> yep, this is one of the sizes. We're not going to disclose which one yet. Okay. Yeah. Wow, it's man, it's pretty cool, a... huh? Yeah, yeah. Does I every does everyone, everyone get the done. same kind of stuff? I can see water body. Uh, are you thinking? Maybe. Of... Okay, maybe. Yeah, cool. maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Wow, it's pretty cool, man. Right? So is that that's got. elements on it or not yeah i can see lava there man you know lava is fire Maybe. here <laughs> i'm still going to stick to it like we would like to say this is still a work in progress so we still need to iron some things out oh yeah 
And then I also have a concept of the wind zone <laughs> on the monster island. Oh, 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 As you can see, is that that's is, a monster? Yes, that's a wind. That's our wind Goliath. Wow! 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 A, a shape shifting Goliath that uh, comes out of the thunderstorm in the in this element that we have, and then shifts according to the wind and everything. Yeah, this is nuts, man. So, Parvez, just for the avoidance of doubt, that the hurricane at the top—that's for wind. Okay? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, th th <laughs> thank you for the clarity, man. Thank you for the clarity. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate I'm here it. for you, buddy. I'm here for you. Yeah. And, and Pierre, is this the first time someone's actually come prepared for the show? <laughs> <laughs> from the other side <laughs> i think so yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> congratulations guys well done yeah <laughs> like everyone else just comes to shoot the <laughs> you know just like hey 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 and yeah you guys like came prepared uh, anything anything else you guys have we, we haven't shown the crib or the con the condo we have or we haven't Pierre, have you so man? we we showed the condo in the concept part a bit which I over love, here. man. It was really yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, over here. This bit. Oh, no, the, the interiors, man, of the... the I think the Cardano the condo. The condo interiors. Yep, we're, we're still working on that. Okay. So right now we don't... We're, we're not going to show what we're working on. We're, we're needed. We want it to be final before we can unveil it. And these exteriors of the monster cribs, uh, when we launch, they can be like totally different. Who knows? Yeah. It's a part of a pipeline that we have. So some of this stuff is like, we do try to iterate it as much as we can before launch. Uh -huh. So that's why everything is maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, improvements, that's <laughs> the, we, we never stop improving. Yeah. Even at the last moment, we're, we're still making changes to improve upon it, upon what we're doing. You know, going back, checking it out from a different perspective, calling in multiple people who haven't looked at it before and then asking their opinion and then, you know, making it so such so that the final end product is very, very user friendly as well. Damn, very nice. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. How how do you guys work with Azimi? Like what? Is it <laughs> is is he is is it like You'll a never see this, don't is, worry. Is, Just tell us the truth. Is it a it. democracy or is it a dictatorship? <laughs> Sometimes what's, what happens is sometimes you'll come up with a point and you're like, oh my goodness, why, why didn't I do that? And, and you know what? You'll forget that you've done it. Uh -huh. You'll completely forget that you've done it. And then you remember the next day that, oh, wait, I, I did do that. Look, Azimi, I have. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but it's fun. It's, it's really fun. <laughs> you also know Azimi for a while now, right? You guys know each other from 2013, but him... Interestingly enough. Yeah. Interestingly enough. <laughs> When we started our first jobs in 2013, Azimi was there. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're all friends. We are band together. Yeah, yeah. So he was there, so and he then was he was telling me some stories about you. And my favorite Nabil story. Now I don't actually know what to believe anymore, given that he did me over on a motorbike thing. But I'm going to <laughs> launch into this one. This is I like this one. Apparently, you, young man, you fell in love with her because she made great cakes. <laughs> and it took you a while to get over this. Is this true? No, no, I'm just thinking, I've never been with the girl who ever made me a cake in her life. <laughs> man, I think Azimi is cooking up some <laughs> man. He's making cake. Let me try this one. So, you understand that you have a a backup plan should your career at Big Immersive all go wrong. Is this true? <laughs> that, that is a bit true, yeah. Okay, Do now, you want to tell us what your backup plan is? Yes. No, yes, no. Yeah, I, I, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. If you tell them or I'm going to tell them. I think Nabil should tell him because... I've mean, got uh, it right here. I'm going to tell everyone if you don't. If, if Nabil and you tell it, I can plainly say, no, they're lying. I can just like... I think the you should go ahead. Yeah, and, uh, go ahead, man. What is it? Okay, well... <laughs> I hope it doesn't go wrong because I think I I love the I especially love the three D assets you give us for those uh, mint rewards. So I'm hoping it doesn't go wrong. But apparently, <laughs> according to Azimi, um, you have done this and you've done a proper business plan and you've pitched it and you're happy with this. And if it all goes wrong, you're going to open a laundry business in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> A laundry tycoon, not just a single shop. I want to be a laundry tycoon. <laughs> wow. A minimum this... of 50 shops, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, you're saying that. I was just reading something the other day about some guy, I think he's in the States, 
and he's made I mean like 10 million last year from doing this sort of online laundry service and stuff like that. I mean, you guys are welcome to join me. I'm, I think I'm in. I'm going to come out and join you. Yeah. <laughs> but I no, no, but wait, 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 wait. Why laundry? I don't know, man. It's good for cleaning stuff. No, but, but... yeah. So wait, there must be the something time, in your family or where someone has no, done something like this. Nothing, nothing. I was just uh, in Dubai and I wanted my clothes uh, washed and I was looking for a laundry and I see there are a lot of them in Dubai. So then I thought, why not a laundry business? Isn't that like the opposite and, of what you should be doing? There's a lot of laundries. I should not be opening a laundry. And each and, each and everyone was so busy and each and everyone was, was not taking my clothes. So that's <laughs> There's just some, you know, maybe there's, you know, maybe there's some kind of breaking bad element to it that we don't I, know I, yet. We don't know yet. I mean, economically, uh, financially, it doesn't make sense to me, right? You know, uh, there's 10 laundries. I'm going to open 11th one right across. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. One, yeah. <laughs> but if the demand is there, right? Then well, why not? Maybe it's not such a crazy idea. Yeah. yeah. You know, some people have, some people, Parves, have an entrepreneurial spirit, unlike yourself. You know, maybe that's the bit you got to go. <laughs> that's the hurdle in your way. Uh, me and Pierre have talked about this in the first episode. So, <laughs> Pierre, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I just want to delve deeper into the laundry. Because you know what? I live in a place called Abu Hill in Dubai, and it has many laundries. They're all trying to get my. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all free, you know. It's not like oh, we don't, we don't, we don't want to take your clothes. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're on the wrong part of Dubai. <laughs> you know what? If big immersion doesn't work out, uh, we can talk about the laundry as well together. So, <laughs> yeah, hey, you know, virtual vibes gonna, you know, be very big. We'll have well, some. I thought you were gonna say big immersive doesn't work out. You can wash my pants anytime. <laughs> I was just being kind. <laughs> you're, you're, you're nice like that. <laughs> what were you saying, Pierre? What was the other thing you heard? Well, the other thing I heard was that in addition to bikes, Assad loves his cars. And mm. even though it kills you financially, you've got to get yourself a new car. That is right? dead, on. Just... That's dead on true. Dead on true. What are we talking about numbers? Yeah. Like a car every year? Yeah, a car every year. He'll drive a car for a year, then he'll figure out, hmm, you know, there's something wrong with this car and I can't get it fixed. You know what? I'll just buy a new one. Wow. Sometimes in four months. Yeah. Sometimes in four so months. So what, what, what are you driving at the moment? So currently I have a Honda. So the, yeah, the problem is when a car, uh, I buy a new car and uh, in three or four months or six months or a year, it starts to squeak a bit. And then I try to fix that squeak. And if it doesn't get fixed, I sell it. So in most cases, the squeak never gets fixed. Yeah, mostly it never gets fixed. <laughs> wow, man. That makes me, remind, reminds me, of, there's this beautiful Volkswagen advert. It must be like 20 years old by now at least. And this couple are driving along. And they hear the squeak, and it's like, "Where's the squeak coming from? Where's the squeak coming?" Anyway, the gag of the the gag of the ad is it turns out it's the, the lady sitting next to him, her earring squeaking in the back. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, man! But Nabil, man, you gotta be yeah. honest about your cake lady, man. What's up with that? You, that really? Yeah, that is Sarah. That is true. I'll have to ask Azimi about that one. I don't. Really Maybe this is another Azimi story. He's trying to. Pu He's trying to deflect it off him onto you. Maybe that's what it is. That might be true, you know. That might <laughs> <Yeah>. be true. <laughs> That'd be an interesting story, though, right? Nabil just hang yeah. out with the woman because, hey, she made good cake. <laughs> <laughs> Not a euphemism. <laughs> I do love cakes, but I don't recall. <laughs> Not that much. Yeah, yeah we got a Zimi, man. Zimi, he, I mean, yeah. yeah. I think it's, pro it's probably Azimi's story. Uh, I think I need yeah, to check my sources true. more thoroughly before we do mm. live. Dude, yeah. the moment Azimi says anything, that's a red flag. Like, yo, let me check this first. <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't care if it's true or not. I mean, it's funny. Here, you don't have sources. It's only one source that you have. It's yeah. Azimi. <laughs> Hi, guys. What but now, is, but yeah. now, I've got, now I've got you guys in my back pocket. So next time we get someone from your office, I'll be tapping you up. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Would be interesting to talk to man. Someone we can get some good stories and stuff like that from. 
Some maybe someone from art and production, you know. All right, all right. We'll, we'll think of someone. Yeah, that would be good. That'd be good, right? Pierre, we go like you know to the actual people who do stuff, as opposed to the guy who just <laughs> manages. <laughs> <laughs> Sit, sits around eating cake, makes, yeah. giving people yeah. the guy who does the loss in translation. Oh no, you guy, you guy, no. Everything I say, oh man, oh no. Ah, yeah. uh, boys, uh, do we have do we have anything else, Pierre? Give me a good. Nothing huh? more for me. It's a good conversation we had. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sharing all that stuff. Yeah, yeah really good, stuff. really some good stuff, man. Yeah, uh, and you're welcome, man. Yeah, uh, always happy to share. And, and thank you for being prepared, as opposed to Pierre, who's never prepared. You know. Um. <laughs> can, what research have you done? Where can I just ask? Dude, just messaging Azimi here. Do you guys have some <laughs> Nabil and Asad? <laughs> that does not constitute research. <laughs> I, I think it's very. Fun. I knew I mean, the these source, guys work the together. Been a bit dodgy, but you see, that's a sign of a good good podcaster. You know, I I made them talk about the time together. I already knew they worked together before in 2013, because I talked to them way back in the day. Pierre, see, <laughs> way back. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I did the research, bro. Maybe I'm awesome. Anyway, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on that note. On that note, thank you guys, and uh, for everyone, we'll uh, see you next week. Bye bye.